my mom got you this gift. What? Yeah. I figured maybe it was for me because of the cat. Yeah, I got a gift too of mine. I had a dog wrapping paper. Because we're an odd couple. I love Ruth. Can I just go on record as saying Ruth is the best? Yeah. Let's see what it is. Are they? Did we get the same gift? No. Aww. Oh my god. They say motherfucking girl power. Guess <gasps> what mine said. What? Ringmaster of the shit show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know what your mom thinks of us. <laughs> we have to make an announcement. Due to a variety of reasons, I was gonna say beyond our control, but we're in control. We will now only be posting on this channel once a week. No! Ah! Ah! I imagine that's everyone's reaction. We're still gonna be doing the couch show. We're still gonna be doing sketches. We're just gonna alternate. Some of the reasons are one, busyness with projects that you guys will hear about at some point. Two, unfortunately, a lot of our stuff is getting demonetized. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, uh, but LGBTQIA content on YouTube is suffering a lot right now. A lot of the creators are getting their videos demonetized, which means ads aren't running on them because they're deemed inappropriate for advertisers. And so YouTube as a platform doesn't make as much money for us anymore. That's um, not really why. I mean, that's a good reason to talk, of, good thing to talk about, but that's not really why. And to me, it is. But also, they demonetize mental health content, and basically, that's the two things that we talk about on this channel. So, and, you know, we've been doing the channel for years. We have a lot of other interests and projects, and we just, you know, it's very time consuming, and it's time to, 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 to stop. It's time to do, not stop. It's do, time to cut it in half. We had this much, and now you're gonna get this much. But and not then maybe later, this much again, maybe less. Maybe this, maybe that. Also, maybe a little of this. What's that? To VR. Some weeks there'll be two videos, but yeah. there's no longer going to be two every week. Yeah. No, no, oh, oh. <laughs> And then immediately, reacting. everyone just writes back, thank God. <laughs> I believe it's Maya, I can't read my own handwriting, from Indianapolis wants to know, can a mono slash poly relationship work? Where one person is polyamorous and the other person isn't. Well, it depends on if the, mon if the mono person is okay with the polyamorous person seeing other people um, and them being monogamous. It also depends on if they are curious about or want to try polyamory. It also depends on if the polyamorous person is willing to be monogamous for a while for them, not for the monogamous person. You guess you really have to like communicate the fuck out of it. I think no. I know you think no. And I also think you picked this question to be rude to me. Well, look, very relevant to who? You. Sure. Really spicy. A spicy yeah, question? It's got some real like key words, hit words. You, you're just like, you're just trying to get that like scandalous. We've answered every kind of question there is at this point. <laughs> I saw something we had to talk about and I had to jump on it. You know, send us more questions about like taxes. Pe peeing on each other. Okay, we went different directions <laughs> there. It's tough because people are imperfect. So you can say to yourself, I'm only going to meet other poly people, but you might not. And uh, you know what? Blah. People are hypocrites. I'm a hypocrite. People don't do what they say they're going to do. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Alan liked that. That's our channel. That's life. Well, I'm not going to tell these people that they have to be perfect. Nobody's But perfect. I mean, don't you think that that's like a valid, like, relationships work or don't work because you have different you have different desires and wants. I don't necessarily think you are with someone forever. I think you're with someone till it doesn't work. And then that's it. Because one of you died. You know when like there's a character who like, like Spock, I mean I don't know that much about Spock, but Spock is like missing a, like a crucial human element and therefore can't relate to people. The fact that you have no jealousy in romantic relationships sometimes makes it hard for you to relate to other people. You can't even fathom what it is like to feel jealous. Yeah. Like, you're Spock. Thank you? <laughs> you feel it a lot in career stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you're maybe too... I'd say you describe yourself as being too jealous mm -hmm. about career stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that you don't have any romantic jealousy. My girlfriend just asked me if it's hard for me to relate to the plots of movies or music. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> I was like, 
I definitely, I had never thought of it that way. And I was like, definitely a lot of movies don't make sense to me. Because like I don't You're understand. operating on a different wavelength. I don't understand pe- some of the motivations in movies. But I guess jealousy is like people killed them, each other over that, huh? Yeah. Weird. I get it. I also say Alan's been going on more dates, so he's... Well, also, nobody is saying also that. Also, Alan's been going on more dates, so he's really busy. 